Alright, sorry for the noise. Got the turkey burner going in here and get some work in here. Uh, so I got an update on uh, the 50 horsepower Mercury 500 engine. Um, I added the video and uh, just thought I would do this at the start because um, some of the video is uh, I lost some video and um, also it was hard to see some of the shots uh, what I was doing but basically I was looking to see that I made sure that I had fuel going into the carburetors and um, essentially the bottom carburetor it had it was uh, at, at the start it was kind of dumping some fuel I adjusted it and it was running um, but I didn't really see any fuel coming out of my top carburetor so I could get it to run for a little bit once I adjusted it it would uh, you know it, it ran for I don't I'm not sure I have to look at the video for a couple minutes um, and then it would just kind of shut down and I believe that's because the top carburetor wasn't pushing any fuel in and so it was running sort of um, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna have to do is unfortunately is take those carburetors off and then go back through and make sure that I put them all together correctly I didn't miss a washer or if they're just not clean um, I've got another set of carburetors and one of these was doing the same thing so but I didn't park it unfortunately I don't know which one um, was working and which one wasn't so what I need to do is just check this a little bit and come up with uh, if the other one looks right at least I can go through these and look at these too and uh, you know I could come up with something that will work and uh, get it finished um, it's just you know I it is what it is um, give me a little difficulty but we're getting there and it will run so I mean when it was running it sounded good so I believe all four cylinders were firing just was not enough fuel to keep it up and then when it did run I did try to throttle it and as soon as I throttled it 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 just you know because no fuel was going in it just died so that's the update on these and uh, you'll see the video that after this where I'm going through it and I got it out on the, uh, under the carport and uh, just trying to fire it got my timing light on it so I can check the timing and uh, you know with the front plate off I was able to look inside the carburetors and uh, so that all working good so anyway wow since I did a video uh, seems like a recurring theme <laughs> um, so for anybody that's been following my 50 horsepower rebuild um, I hadn't fired it up yet so this is should be the end of the series and uh, just took a while for everything going on um, basically I just pulled it out of the garage and I'm gonna try my little uh, idea about checking the carbs which was in the last video but basically I have the front plate off so that I can see into the carbs and uh, got my switch box sort of wired up so it's on the chassis and uh, just to refresh some of that you know you got your coal it goes into the switch box and then this goes to the distributor so I kind of taped this to the to the side so it's not touching anything or whatever and, um, and then I have a ground wire right there and that ground wire is just going over to the chassis and then I've got this cable that's going from the chassis to ground on my uh, rectifier 
so uh, that it's still rectifying the vo voltage. And then, uh, yeah, everything's hooked back up. And I've got my remote switch, which is ready. And I got my earmuffs on, just got to turn on the water. I've got the fuel tank attached. Um, I'll pull it whenever I'm just running out of fuel if I get it running. I don't have my remote hooked up, which is fine. I just got to make sure that I'm in neutral here, which uh, I believe I believe we are. Yeah, looks like it. So let's check this down here. So yeah, that's forward, that's neutral, and then that's reverse. We'll go all the way forward. Well, where's it at? See, this is what'll kind of hang you up if you if you're not in the right. It's really tight to get in there to move it around but I can look right now I think I'm in forward gear just gotta come back right. dang it sorry well hang on let me get that in reverse uh I mean in neutral and then I got my starter hooked up I mean my battery hooked up and uh remote switch I gotta turn on the water I'll get that in neutral and then I'll fire it up and I got my timing light. I just tried to fire it up and get it to run, but uh, I know it's not doing what I want. So let's see here. All right, so it seems like it needs to go that way. Let's see what's that. there okay hang on. primary and my secondary are right. It's this linkage that needs to be adjusted.
Let me see if we get starved for fuel. Ah! I just ran it for a half a minute without any water on it. Right now, I don't have any fuel coming out of the bottom carburetor. I've been adjusting it.